Welcome to Learn Brazil Page Builder with JP. You may be wondering what is Polylang. If you're not wondering, it's because you already know. Well, Polylang relates to languages and it allows you to present your website in multi languages. I have made quite a few websites for people in various languages, including Chinese, even in Lao. So I've had to dabble around with multi-language websites quite a lot and they can be tricky especially for newcomers they can be a pure headache the two big ones on the market is polylang which is free and then wpml which is a paid version but is far superior than polylang now i decided to test polylang this weekend on brizzy because some of the page builders i do use it doesn't work that well with it and others it works flawlessly with it and it's because of that feature that polylang on some websites don't work and with some themes don't work i tried to test it on brizzy and i think together with customify so if you are ever in a situation where you have to translate, not translate, where you have to present a website in multi-languages, then you can know at this moment that Polylang seems to work well with Brizzy. So I'm going to do a short demo on how to install Polylang, how to set it up and how the pages will work. And with this, you can also learn more about how Brizzy works. So I'm going to close out of here and then on the website, I have made three pages, the three normal pages. One is a home services and contact us. And I've just added some random Brizzy blocks. So these aren't real pages. And then here I have my header with my menu here. And this, as I said, is created in the customi customer five theme. Whew, what a tongue twister, customer five theme. Cannot say that quickly. I think never. Right, so I've got these three pages and what I want to do is I want to put up a mirror page for each one and then I want to translate them into another language. And we are going to do that by first installing Polylang. So we go to our plugins, add new, and then over here, you're going to type Polylang. And then you will see our parrot showing up there and then say install now after you have installed it normally then you go to activate there's quite a few steps that you have to be aware of here and the first one is we go down here at the bottom left you will see this new bar here called languages and we go to settings polylang requires that you sort of indicates to it at the beginning hey, no languages what am i talking about languages you have to indicate at the beginning which languages you are using now i had previously already entered these so it is remembering them so i'm going to delete them for the purposes here look away while i do this so you don't know what i'm doing oh it hasn't refreshed yet and we also delete this english i'll tell you when you can look back okay you can look back all right so now as i said go to languages go over here to languages and then you first have to set up your default language. This is your main language for your site. And in this case, I'm going to use English and I'm going to use Great Britain over here. I know there's a ZA for South Africa, but I'm going for this one because I want a different flag. Over here, you can see United Kingdom flag. So basically you don't have to do much here, but I would give this one a one, which means this is my priority number one language and then say, add new language then it will add it and when it has been added it will appear here on the right and now you're going to add your second language now if i had some chinese here with me or another language i'll add it so i'm just going to add my mother tongue which is afrikaans i have to tell you off the bat uh, afrikaans website in afrikaans is very strange to us even when we speak Afrikaans. It just looks strange and I don't even know half of the words in Afrikaans. I'm so used to the English. And I'm going to add that as a new language. Do, do, do. Okay, so we've got Afrikaans and then we've got English. And over here you can see the order. English is our number one language. And then the second one is Afrikaans. 
The next thing we are going to do is we are now going to create those pages that are going to mirror the ones that we currently have. And we start with home. So I'm going to add one for that. And this is where the weird stuff comes in. Taste blood. I'm going to call it a taste blood. And then I'm just going to publish that one. Internet seems to be dragging its feet here. Then we add another one. And over here we have services. So we're going to call this one Dienste. Let me write the English next to it so you guys don't get confused what we are talking about here. Okay, I'll go and change the other one as well. And then contact us. Add new. Con uh, contact us. Ah, no, I have to type the Afrikaans. Contact ons. Strange. Contact us and publish. Okay. Right. I've been going beyond. Let me just go to all the pages and make sure that I've done this correctly. We've got there, there, and then we have taste blood. I just want to also write next to this one home so that you have a good idea of what is going on here. While we are now here in Taste Blood, which is the Afrikaans for home, you will notice this new bar on the right popping up that says languages. The first flag here indicates the language of this proper page. Now, as you can see, this page is in Afrikaans. So what I do on the drop down menu, I choose Afrikaans and I'm going to update it. Then I'm also going to go to the other two pages that I've created. There's one Dienste, and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to call it Afrikaans. And let's make the last page, which was Con Contact Ons. Contact Ons. And I'm also going to go to Afrikaans and update. Right. Go back to all pages and you will see we have in total six pages here. And what we are going to do now is we are going to link these pages to the English counterparts. So let's go to home. And the first thing we have to do is put it on English and over here, click on it and now type the Afrikaans. You just have to type like one letter T and it will show you all the various choices you have. I'm going to choose taste blood. So now this is home. It's an English page and it is connected to your Afrikaans taste blood. And I'm going to click update. And then we're going to do that also with the other two pages. Uh, next one was services. And again, this one is English. Here for the Afrikaans, it's Dienste. So I just type a D. There I got Dienste and I update it. And then the final one, which was contact ons. No, no, no. I want to go to contact us. The English one, it can get sometimes very confusing. And then I'm going to type just a K for contact ons and click in there and update. Let's go back to all pages. Let's look at our six pages. We've got all our pages. And what you see here now is you see the English flag for the United Kingdom and next to it you see the South African flag which is representing Afrikaans at this moment and this is the contact us which means the check mark means aha there is this is an English page and then the little pencil is the Afrikaans one if you were to click on this one it will open the contact ons its counterpart Let's go and see what has happened on our site. This is the last time we looked at the site. Remember, we installed the plugin and then we created the pages. So I'm going to just click on home again and see what happens. And when I click on home, nothing happens except my menu is gone. I, I, I seem to use the word gone all the time in when it's website development and making things just disappear. We are so used to it and it's gone. Right. The reason for that is that because we have 
installed polylang we have created a new environment for the language and you have to go and assign that in your menu so we go to appearance and then we go to menus and you can see here is my original menu which is main english and i have home i have services and i have contact us what i'm going to add to this menu now is the language switcher over here click on it and say add to menu and it will appear here what i do now is i click on it and i can say it displays as a drop down i want that displays language names yeah display the flags i can include that hides the current language hides languages with no translation i'm going to leave it like that so we can see how it works and then i'm going to say save menu but now you also have to go and create the afrikaans the other languages menu for your header so next step is to create a new menu and this one i will call what was that one main i will call this main afrikaans and then create it again i go to pages and i find my afrikaans pages teisblad dienste kontak ons and i load that and teisblad goes to the top dienste here kontak ons and i have to add the language switcher here as well And let's set that one up as well. Displays as drop down, displays flags, and then primary Afrikaans. This is very important. You have to assign this menu to where it is going to be displayed on the website. Save menu. And once it is saved, let's go have a look at our site at this moment. I'm going to refresh it. And look at how beautiful that looks, children. Here we have home, services, contact us, and there we have English and a drop down in Afrikaans. So if I click on services, do, 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 there we go, contact us, do, 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 very nice. And now let's switch to Afrikaans. I click on that, and there we go. I didn't add anything here, so you're not going to see anything. But now you can see that we are in the Afrikaans menu. So if I go to Dienste, I am in Dienste, you can see up here, and contact ons, same thing up here. People, this is as nice as it gets. It's already working perfectly with Brizzy. So if you are looking for a free option to add these pages for alternative languages to your site, then Polylang is the way to go. Just remember, as Polylang is installed in the current state, it's not a translation plugin. It means it's not going to take the English and translate it for you into Spanish or into French or into German. You still have to go and do those translations by yourself. So one of the reasons why this won't be yet that useful for Brizzy at this moment is that you cannot copy the entire page and save it as a layout as you can do in other page builders. You can save the blocks one by one, and then when you make a new page, you can drag in those blocks and then translate it. But that is quite cumbersome. Hopefully in the pro version, we are going to have that ability to save an entire layout of a page so that after you have saved it in English, you can go to the alternative language and then you can just load that layout and then you can translate it by yourself. Hope that was useful. I am still playing around with WPML. If you are interested in seeing how WPML works, leave me a message below because WPML is quite a beast compared to Polylang. And if I get enough people who say to me, JB, give us WPML, then I will do so, my humble requesters. Right, have a nice day and see you again in the next video.